today I'm going to be doing a house tour again. I have decided that this isn't really going to be the official house tour. I'm probably going to do a tour for you guys once we have furniture in here and stuff like that and everything's like unboxed and I have the place kind of set up because I wanted to do like a before video, which I did, and then like an after once everything was um, finished being renovated. But unfortunately, everything is not finished. It is definitely livable in here now. As you can see, I am standing in my living room and it is much cleaner than it ever looked compared to all the other videos that I showed you of the new place. So I just wanted to kind of give you a tour of what it looks like. A majority of the things are done, but there are some things that need um, working on still. Like tomorrow when we move in, they will be working on the second bathroom because we didn't finish that and the kitchen's not fully done. It's been taking me a really long time to paint the cabinets and I haven't even started the doors, so I'll show you that in a second, but I'm almost done with the cabinets. I just need to do a couple like touch-ups in certain areas. And then there's two um, cabinet, like the inside of the cabinets that I haven't touched at all yet. And then, like I said, I have to do the doors. So I still got a long way to go with the kitchen. Um, we got our appliances in, but not all of them are like actually in the right spots. We have the refrigerator in, which is good, but we don't have the stove or the dishwasher, which they will be doing that tomorrow. Um, and then I think tonight some guy is coming to um, install the sink in the kitchen because we don't have that in yet. We have the countertops, just not the sink. And it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take you around the house and show you what we have completed. And then down the line, once everything's unpacked and I have furniture and stuff like that, I will do an official house tour, but this is kind of just like, I guess an update, like an updated house tour. Um, but yeah, so let's get started and I will show you everything. Okay, so if you guys remember, this is the front door. You walk in right here. Um, and then this is the living room. So I just finished mopping um, because I kind of had to get like, there was a bunch of sawdust all over the place. So this is the living room and over here I have these horses because I'm working on painting the cabinet doors. These are all of the cabinet doors and the drawers as well that I still have to paint. So we're kind of just using the living room right now as like a working room, unfortunately. Plus we don't even have our couch, so it's totally fine. We don't have a coffee table. We don't have a TV stand. We literally sold all of our furniture successfully, which I'm happy about, but we currently don't have furniture. So we're just using this room as like kind of like a working room. Um, so we got the shop back, shop back, is that what it's called? Yeah, right here. And then like a bunch of my stepdad's tools are still gonna be kind of just away in this corner and everything that we need to work on, we can kind of work on in here. So then moving on to the dining room, this is what the floor looks like. And like I said, I just mopped everything. And this is our stove that we have to put in tomorrow. It is a stainless steel stove. It's pretty basic, but I'm super happy and excited about it because obviously you can't tell because there's a lot of stuff on top, but it is a glass, a black glass top with five burners. Um, I'm really excited about that because I've never had a glass top stove before. I only had like the electric stove that the flames come out of. So that is our stove that we just got. Um, so this is the dining room and then moving on to the kitchen. Um, again, it's the same floor. Here is our refrigerator. I'm super excited about it. It is a basic refrigerator. Ew, it looks dirty. I definitely have to clean that. But um, it's a basic refrigerator, but I am happy because I've never had stainless steel before. This is what the freezer looks like. It's kind of tiny, but that's okay. Um, our refrigerator at our current apartment now is much smaller, so I'm happy with this. And then there's some of my stepdad's beers in there. Um, but this is our refrigerator. I think you can move the shelves up. Yeah, you definitely can. So we're going to put a couple shelves in there, but that is the new refrigerator. And then now I'm going to show you what the kitchen looks like. So this, there's stuff everywhere, guys, so don't mind that but like I said I painted the top cabinets um, they're pretty white so I think they're good they just need a couple touching up um, and then like I said these two cubby things up there I have not painted yet at all I have to go to those the reason why I haven't started those two is because there was a lot of spider webs and spiders in there and it grossed me out 
So I was waiting for my stepdad to clean that out for me before I went ahead and painted it. So that is what they look like so far. I'm super happy with it. It took me a really long time, guys. Seriously, it was like four coats I needed of paint, I believe. And then I started down here. So in here, I have to paint the walls in here because that is where our um, garbage can is gonna go. And then this is one of the little cabinets with the drawer, as well as over here. And this is gonna be our dishwasher. Um, I don't know if I should show you. No, not really, but the top of the dishwasher has like, it's like a touch screen. So it has touch screen buttons to start the dishwasher. And then when you close it, you don't see the buttons anymore. I thought that was so cool. I don't have that now, but again, it's stainless steel. It matches with the refrigerator. So that's gonna go in this little insert right here. And then over here, it's disgusting because they were working over here. Um, so there's a bunch of sawdust and nasty stuff over there. But this is the sink that they are installing and it's pretty big. So I think the guy's coming tonight. I'm not entirely sure, but that's, I'm 90% I'm sure that's what's happening. So he'll be putting that in for us. And then this is the last part that I did not fully paint. Now, these are the countertops. I don't know if you can tell, but when you look close up to it, maybe not even here. When we got these, we went to Home Depot and we were picking out counters. And in the store, it looked white and gray and black. Like, I'll try to insert a picture on here so you can see what I'm talking about. But in here, for some reason, it looks tan. And it's driving me crazy because my dream kitchen was always like, I wanted white cabinets with black, white, and gray um, granite countertops. And unfortunately, I don't know if it's the lighting in here or something, but that definitely looks tan. So I'm sure I'll get used to it. I'm super grateful that we even have granite because I've never had that before. But um, yeah, so that's what they look like. I'm sure I'll get used to the color over time. It's not too bad. Um, it definitely shows up a little bit different on camera than in person. But when you go to the spots where there's like no light, it looks, I don't know if you can tell, it looks gray and white and black, but in the light, it looks tan. So I don't really know, but that is the kitchen so far. Um, yeah, it's taken me a really long time, but um, tomorrow they will be putting in the stove right where those, those black chairs are. And then the dishwasher is gonna go right there. So that is my kitchen. And then coming down this hallway, it's the same flooring. And to the left, we have this bathroom that I am obsessed with, guys. We finished this one, it is gray walls. Kind of looks like a little blue on camera, but the floor is a marble tile. My boyfriend did this flooring. And then we have a basic white vanity with a sink. So that's what it looks like. And above here, we're gonna be putting like an oval shape or a circle. I think I wanna do oval shaped mirror above the sink right there. And then that is our new toilet. And this was already on the wall. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep that, but I'm just gonna paint it white because it's a little dirty and like the color is kind of off compared to the rest of the stuff in here. But that is like the half bathroom. I really like that room. We have not finished the laundry room. It's a complete disaster in here. So we still need to put in the flooring. I don't think I showed you guys that flooring yet. It's like a gray. It's like a gray tile. It's almost like a marble look, but it's different shades of gray. So it's gonna be really pretty in here. And then I'm gonna have to go ahead and paint all of the trim white, and we're gonna paint the walls white in here. And I'm gonna paint those cabinets in the back white as well. So everything is definitely not done, but it is livable in here now. So over time, it will get better and things will um, come together more. But right now it is definitely livable. The only thing that stinks is this bathroom. So basically, here is the vanity. I don't know if I showed you guys this top, but before they had a different top, it was like an ugly yellow. Now it's like this white and gray speckled sink and I love it. It's super big in here as well. Um, we have the faucet in the other room, but that is the vanity in this bathroom. I think it's super cute. My boyfriend started the tile in here, but we actually had to stop halfway because they were putting in the new shower. So this is the shower, just a basic shower. But when they were cutting out the old shower, they had to cut a little bit higher. And so they have to sheetrock this wall and 
um, spackle it so that we can go ahead and paint it and not have that gap there. So unfortunately, the first couple of days of living here, I don't think we're gonna be able to take a shower because we're not able, like we can't get water back there and like steam and stuff. So that kind of stinks, but we couldn't do the tile over here because when they were installing this, my stepdad didn't want like them to ruin the tile. So he only did up until this point. But I think tomorrow after we move everything in, he said he's gonna finish the tile and spackle up this hole in the wall because from the previous sink top, it went all the way across to this wall. And I guess that's just how my stepdad cut it out. I'm not really sure how that works, but there's a hole in the wall, so my, my boyfriend has to spackle that as well um, and put sheetrock. I don't really know anything about construction, but he said he's gonna fix that tomorrow and paint the walls gray in here and finish the tile so that at least this bathroom is finished and all we have to worry about is the shower. But we'll see because I know it's going to be a really long day um, bringing all the boxes and all the furniture that I do have left, like my bed and my dresser and stuff like that. So I'm sure he's going to be exhausted. So I don't know. We'll see if he gets around to that. I'm hoping we can do it, but if not, it's totally okay. So that is the second bathroom. And then we have this little hallway. I'm not going to show you guys this room. This is the man cave room, but right now it's like filled with sawdust. My stepdad's saw is in there as well as a bunch of other tools because he still has to do stuff in the house so he doesn't want to like lug his tools back and forth so he's just going to keep everything in there and we're just going to keep that door shut until he's completely done and he can take his tools home so that room is not going to be like usable right away and then this is the bedroom i think i've showed you guys this i don't know but it's the same flooring it is um, darker gray walls than the other walls like in the living room it's a little bit darker um, that is our window and then here's the closet. I have not painted the closet yet either guys So I have to paint this closet, but I started bringing in some boxes today with my mom And then we just have some jars of paint and stuff that I need to put away But again, we still need to use some of this stuff because I have to paint the closet and there's other things that I need to touch up on So that is the house tour. It's pretty much together it's livable we can move in tomorrow it's just stinks that not everything is completely done but for the most part it looks much better than it did it was like totally trashed before with like a ton of garbage and stuff so i worked on cleaning out all the garbage today for the most part and i mopped all the floors so that they're super shiny and clean for my animals because I didn't want them stepping on anything or sawdust or anything like that. So, so that is it for today's little house tour update. I kind of wanted to give you guys, like I told you, an official house tour, but because everything's not done, this is kind of the best I can do. But like I said, it's livable and it's, it looks nice and we just have a couple things that we still need to work on. And once everything is complete and I have furniture in here, I will then do an official tour I can almost do like um, maybe I'll do a decorate with me I don't know we'll see and you can come along with me while I organize and decorate things I don't know something like that something along those lines if you guys have any suggestions on videos that you want to see for me in this new house definitely leave your suggestions down below because I would love to film some videos that you guys are interested in in our new house so I'm super excited today. Like I said, it's Saturday and we will be moving in tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is our last day at our apartment. So in the morning, me, my boyfriend, my mom, and my stepdad will be bringing boxes over and hopefully not have to take too many trips. Um, like I said, I brought a couple boxes in my bedroom now. I also have some boxes in the car that I'm gonna bring in before I leave. Um, so yeah, so tomorrow we'll have everything moved in. I'm gonna try to film a moving vlog for you guys. I can't guarantee it, but I'm gonna try. I know it's gonna be like a super stressful day, especially with my dog and my cat. They are gonna be really, really scared. So our plan is just to move all the boxes and the furniture and literally get everything out and then we'll go back and pick up Chloe and Jax and bring them here because they both have really bad anxiety and I know that they're gonna be scared and not know where they are. So. It's gonna be a little bit stressful, but they'll be okay. They'll get used to it. And once my dog gets used to it, he will love it because it's so much bigger than where we live now. So he has a lot of like 
running space. And also, I don't know if I showed you guys, but in the back, like by our bedroom window, back there, they have this big open field. So I was planning on getting like chairs for me and my boyfriend and then like one of those dog runners that I can like put into the ground so that he can like run around outside and kind of just hang out in the grass with me because he loves being outside and he's like a super, um, what do you call it? I don't know, he likes to like sunbathe, I swear. He just lays and sprawls out in the sun and he loves it and he's so happy. So I know after he gets used to this place, he will definitely love it, but that's really it for now, guys. So I will try to film a vlog tomorrow. Oh, and also, I take him to this, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this to you guys and it's kind of irrelevant, but I take him to this doggy daycare sometimes where he gets to like run around with a bunch of dogs and he really, really likes it and he comes home and is super exhausted and just sleeps the rest of the night. So I was thinking that tomorrow I might send him to doggy daycare while we're moving everything because when I was taking out boxes today, he gets like really bad anxiety, like I said, and he started barking like crazy. He was not happy, he was super upset, he didn't understand what was going on and he just would not stop barking. And when he gets like that, he sometimes pees on the floor. So I don't want him to do that. Plus I don't want him to feel like anxious and sad and like scared. So I feel like it's best to send him to daycare while we get everything out. And then I'll just pick him up straight from daycare and bring him to the new place. So that's my plan. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like the way things turned out so far. And if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.